I'm going to start this morning out by checking on our new uh, visitors we brought home with the parts truck. And uh, if, you, uh, <laughs> if you go back and watch the last video, you'll understand what I mean. So let's see how ornery they are on a chilly morning. Well, I don't actually see none of them floating around out here this morning. Hmm. So I'm either completely dumb or a glutton for punishment, but it seems like they're all in the tank this morning. So um, I'm gonna get a flashlight to shine that in there and see if we can see some honey in there. Let's, let's take a peek. Oh dear God, they're filled all the way up to the neck just piled in there holy crap that's the most bees i've ever seen that tank is literally so full they're all the way up the neck in today's episode of make junk we got work um we gotta have something together for a race in, well, honestly, we need to leave uh, a week from tomorrow. And uh, parts availability is an issue right now. So we're going to take uh, stuff we've got, throw something together, and go to the track and hope for the best. Uh, you've seen our Betty White series that we started. This is more on that series of videos uh we've been off of it for a few days for other things but we're back on it uh today we're going to be working on a set of, of heads trying to clean a set of heads up freshen them up a little bit you know try to get everything we can out of a stock motor uh it's let's call it a warmed up street motor we're gonna to try to get everything we can out of it and make it perform as good as possible on the track. Uh, so that's what we're gonna work on These today. Are the heads we're working on, stock FE heads, nothing special. Um, so one of the first things we've done, we clean we clean the surface. It still needs a little more rubbing and a little more cleaning, but clean the clean the surface up real good. Checked it to make sure it's flat with a uh, precision straight edge, a machinist straight edge. We put it on it, checked all of our gaps and everything, make sure we're okay. So we're gonna pull all these valves out and we're gonna put a different set of springs in because the only cam I can get my hands on right now is a hydraulic flat tappet, which will probably go flat as soon as I crank the car. But we hope not. So we're gonna put a, a soft set of springs in to try to make the braking go a little better. And while we got the valves out, we're gonna touch a few places uh, and clean up a few things. We may actually clean up a little in here uh, before we take the valve out, just to use these as a, a guide to not touch our seat right there. So just come in here and clean this up a little bit. Take some of the uh, the the rough casting marks out. Just just smooth this out. Just clean it up just a little bit. We're gonna do that to all of them. But we're gonna go in here and clean this up a little bit, smooth all this out, and make the transitions better. And uh, maybe over here, come in here just a little and. Uh, unshroud these valves just a just a touch just a skosh and, and try to get the best we can out of them Show you the idea of what I'm doing. If you look at this one right here, you see how the casting marks is in there. And I've just started with this one, and you can see how the casting marks show a whole lot better. And over here, we're not trying to change the shape of anything. We're not trying to, to take a whole bunch of metal out of here. All we're trying to do is smooth out 
all these casting marks just to make the, the chamber a little smoother in here. I'm telling you, it helps. Uh, I've seen the results on the time slips at the track. I know it'll help. Uh, so we're just going to get in here and smooth all this chamber out so that it's all nice and smooth. That's the goal. This is one of them deals you just really kind of want to sneak up on it. See how smooth it is right through here now? A little more to do right through here. But how smooth and nice it is. See, I just started on this one here. And you just want to sneak up on it. You don't want to just get in here and gouge and grind and try to take it all away. You just, you just want to sneak up on making it smooth. That's all you want. Take the rough castings out. We've gotten to that point in the day where it's going to require a trip to town to uh, snatch up a few things. One of which is some more, uh, some more gas. But we are putting together the best version of a stock FE that we can. I say stock because, uh, why do I look blue on this camera? It's like the Smurf lens. What is going on? Let me turn around here. That's better. Um, again, I think some of the better 390s came like 320 horse, I believe it was. Um, I'm hoping that maybe we can squeeze 350. I'm hoping we can squeeze 350 out of this motor. Um, we are doing a few things to improve on it. Uh, we're we're doing a uh, let's call it a deep cleaning of the heads. Um, a little better intake than they had back then. The cam is a little better in stock, not not dr drastically better, but it's it's one or two numbers better than stock. Maybe we make three fifty. I mean, it's still a four thousand pound car, but we're gonna at least be in the show. We're going to at least be there. We're going to be able to at least get our show up points or qualifying points. And, and it's racing. You never know what happens. If the guy in the next lane makes a mistake, that may be enough for me to get around and get some more points. So uh, mathematically, the top five is not out of the question. It's just a Hail Mary pass in the fourth quarter with seven seconds left on the clock kind of thing. So it's not out of the question, but... Right now, I'm trying to hang on to a top 10 finish in the points. And uh, can't do that if I don't make the race. So we got to get back to work on this thing. And there's a couple other things we're going to do today, too. We're also going to pull the wagon someday. I've got time, and i also got to make a trip to Summit to get a couple parts. So I've got time to get this motor together. Um, but the wagon's going somewhere Saturday, and, well... Today being Thursday, I need to tinker with it a little bit as well. So, so one of the things I want to do on the wagon is these gauges. When I ran the engine through its break-in procedure, I zip-tied the gauges to the cow right here so I could actually stand outside and monitor the engine during its break-in. Well, that was like two years ago, and the gauges have steadily been riding around on the cow zip tied to it so i guess one of the things we're going to change today so we're going to pull our zip tie off of there unhook our lines find a place to mount them on the inside does the guy need three three holes when when he only runs two Two gauges, I think we can do something about that. There you go, a two gauge pod now that looks just like it came from a factory. Like, no, no, not even close, but it'll work is what I'm saying. I, I'm saying it'll hold two gauges that we can, you know, just put, put, put our peepers on going down the road. So it, it'll function for what it's, for.
There we go. Mounted right down here so that I, uh, that I probably can't see them going down the road. That's fine. That's fine. They're, they're there. They're, yeah, they'll be fine. That they're, they're right. perfect. We got our gauges mounted. They're right there. So we can eyeball them while going down the road. But now we have a flat metal floor back here. I have an idea to spruce that up. So I've got this product. It's a whitewashed barn wood, but it's a print and it's on strips of wood. about my experiment? Thought about hardwood floors in the back, but I need to use this thing. Hardwood floors get wet, problems, you know, I eh, couldn't quite find the right product. Come across this. This finish on this is a whitewashed barn wood. So it looks like it's barn wood that was painted white 100 years ago and all the whites come off of it. But the back of it, it's actually rubber. Very flexible. 100% waterproof, pet friendly, blah, 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 all this stuff. So let's, why not let's give this a try. I bought double what I needed. This stuff is cheap, like $40 for a box of it. I used a half a box to do what I've done. It's kind of a test to see how it works. Got a whole nother full box. So this is not the finished product. This is my test to see how it works. I got to do some trim work and things like that. And I'm going to change a few things. But this is like clickety clack floor. So I can unclickety clack. And all the pieces I use can still be used. It's not like I wasted them. Uh, most of them are long pieces. There's a few cut pieces I put in there. Which brings me to another point. No special tools required. Cut it with a razor knife. Take a look at this. Huh? What do you think about that? Now, you can see a little gap here and a little gap here. What I'm going to do to correct that is slide it all the way over. There's a little hump right here. That's the reason it's out like that. It's on both sides, a little hump right here. So what I'm going to do is split a piece, slide this all the way to one end and put it here. Uh, but I want to clean these panels up a little bit first because they're pretty faded out. But I think with the white outside and the patina on this thing right now, that a whitewashed barn wood floor looks pretty phenomenal. Let's get in here on this thing and look at this. It has, where's that? It has splits, what looks like splits, but it's but it's printed as smooth as a baby's butt. It looks like splits in the wood here and there. It looks like split up through here. Uh, there's places it looks like knots, but it's all smooth. And this is, it's rubber but it snaps down in sheets, like a clickety-clack wood floor would. So, this is a product that I am blocking so far. Really adds something to the back of the wagon. Now, of course, I stopped it at the back seat because it's just gonna be this and it's gonna be carpet up front. But I wanted something a little different. I think this is, I think this is it. I think this is the difference. I wanted. Let me know what you think of that. I think that's a cool product. Now, what I got to do is I'm going to take it all back out. Not today, but uh, I'm going to take it all back out because there is a door right here with a storage compartment over there. So I'm going to trim it so it fits the door like it's supposed to. The door will open and close. There's also a hinge up here for the seat to fold down so all this is open. I'm gonna put it up and down the back of the back seat so that when it's folded down, it's like one long hardwood floor. So yeah, there's work to do. This was just, let's snap it together and see how it actually looks in the car to see if I know if I like this idea or not. And I think, I think, think I like about that. I think that's gonna look kind of cool. I've got some carpet to go in front. I'm kind of playing with an idea. Let me show you the idea I'm kind of playing with. I have with carpet and sound editing and stuff to go all over this, but what if, what if a man took some more of this and done the transmission tunnel, just the transmission tunnel, right up the side right here, one board up the side, right across the top, so it looked like 
a wood beam. It would look like an old squared off wood beam was my tunnel in the car. And just a thought. I mean, you can't really see it, but you can kind of see it. If you had it here and up here, be squared off and it would look like a wood beam with a shifter sticking out of the middle of it. I don't know if I'll do that or not. Just a thought. Well, wagon's been given a bath. All cleaned up. As good as it can, you know, it's like the kids say now, patinaed. So, there she is ready. Keep one thing in mind. Uh, this ain't about building a show car and doing everything perfect and right. Uh, this is just about getting them on the road and running and driving and enjoying them. That's what cars are meant to do is enjoy them. And I'm not knocking the guy that his enjoyment comes from uh, going to the shows and stuff. That's fine. But the average guy, man, just enjoy the car. You can't afford a garage full of them. Just get you one that you can drive and enjoy just because it's old don't mean it can't be a daily uh keep in mind henry ford never said i hope i build cars that people will put in their garage pull out once a month wash wax put on a trailer and carry to a grassy field pull them off and let other people walk around and point at them and take pictures he built cars for people to drive so do grandpappy for an honor and drive your car so let's recap the day we checked on our honeybees they're still honeying uh we did a little work on betty white we started fiddle farting around with the heads to try to get a little out uh we got to make a run to summit to pick up two parts that we need to finish out betty white so hopefully uh probably sunday after church betty white will be bolted together something to look forward to so maybe monday tuesday at the latest we can be putting the motor into the into the galaxy and actually be ready for the race i mean just possible um We've done some work on a wagon. We moved our gauges inside. We're getting it ready for Saturday. And we put a, we tried a, a new product, a little rubber wood floor simulated clickety clackety thing. Um, Y'all let me know what you think of that. I also have carpet to go in the wagon. Uh, but right now I hadn't put the carpet down because I'm kind of waiting because I'm, I may do that. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow evening because I'm going to have to stew tomorrow and think about do I want to do carpet in all the front up here? Or do I want to put wood, that wood fake clickety clackety rubbery wood stuff on the tunnel and make it look like it's a wood beam running down the center of the car? I don't know, because part of me thinks it'll get too much. It'll be too weird. Y'all put it down there and let me know what you think. Um, I don't know. I think right now I could be talked into either way. Kind of having my mind what I want, but I could be talked into uh, either way. Let me know what you think of the, the product we tried out in the back. I think it's kind of cool. And... The whitewashed barn wood color kind of works good with the car. I was on the fence about it. I wasn't too much on the fence about it. I bought two boxes of the stuff. But it's all about trying to do something different, step outside the box. 
Y'all let me know what you think. Again, hit the like, the subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to a giveaway. Uh, so y'all let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about the hardwood stuff. And uh, I will see you next time. Hope God blesses you today. Uh, talk to y'all later.